Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a haul. I'll be showing you guys all the new things that I purchased within the past month and also some new things that I repurchased again that I really do love. So I hope you guys like it. Please stay tuned. Please like, please share, please comment, please spread the word, let people know. So I hope you guys like it and stay and tuned. I don't have any makeup on today because I plan on doing a tutorial soon. So yeah, so please uh, mind bare face. It looks like crap. And I have a little messy bun on today. Um, so yeah. Okay, so starting off, I have everything divided in my little table here. So I'm gonna be talking about brushes. So there's a couple of brushes I just bought recently. So starting off first, it's my Morphe E23 brush. And this is a awesome blending brush. So it's really, really nice. It, it's like a dome round brush. It's a awesome blending brush. It's very fluffy and big. And it's, I guess, the synthetic brushes because I don't think it's real hair. <laughs> yeah, so I really like it. It's super, super soft and super big. And it can really get in there and blend all those colors out. It's very similar to my It Cosmetics brush, my number 105 brush. Very similar, if you can see. Super, super similar. yeah they're very very um similar this is hell of a lot cheaper than this so definitely look into morphe brushes i really do recommend it and the quality is so great it's pretty much a dupe for a mac brush so yeah all right so my next brush that i purchased is my is this mac 266 brush it's a angled brush so i have a really hard time doing wing liner with gel so I love the way it looks I just want to do gel I want to kind of get better at gel um but I heard really good things about this brush and it's super thin so there's a smaller brush I just don't know the number it's a little it's half of this size but it's more for eyebrows but I see a lot of youtubers use it for eyeliner but um I'm gonna give this a try I tried it once so far and it didn't come out so well but yeah, so what it pretty much is, is an angle brush. So when you do your wing, you kind of like make your little tail. And then they told me to flip the brush and then just connect. So I'm going to keep practicing a little bit more. You know, practice makes perfect. So yeah, wish me luck. And then my third brush from MAC is my MAC 210 brush. It is a pointy brush. So I actually use this for, the, I've been using this for a little bit now. And I use it with Tarte Clay Paint Eyeliner with it. I've had this for a while now. And it's in black. And what I do, it's also a gel. So what I do is I just kind of squeeze the tube. And it comes out of right there, that little um, hole in there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Probably hard to see, that little hole right there. And then I just kind of like put it in there. And this is so much easier to like line your eye. So it gets really, really close in there. So, and it's also good for wing unfortunately i don't have that much control yet with brushes with gel so that's when this comes in handy and then this just to kind of add it up so what i also do is when i use my felt tip eyeliners i kind of draw it out and everything and then what i do since this is so pointy and super precise i dip it in the gel and i kind of just go over it so it looks so nice so yeah uh hopefully i get better at that so i can show you guys okay since we are talking about eyes so i purchased two palettes recently and i am in love with these two purchases that i did so so i know you probably seen this all over instagram youtube all along. i purchased the modern renaissance anastasia palette so this is my first i guess eyeshadow palette from them and let me tell you i am not disappointed the colors are so pretty. Like, if I can tell you how they feel, they're so pigmented, so velvety. Like, oh my God, super, super nice. And it comes with this awesome brush too. So, and I do use the brush because it's so nice to get in there as well. So what I do is I go back, go with my big fluffy brush and I kind of add more of the details that I want with this little brush. It's really, really nice. Like I said, the colors are super pigmented. Like this is like one dip in there. And then this is like my hand right there. Look at that. Like, hello pigment. Super, super pigmented. And 
and yeah, so buttery. So yeah, stay tuned for a tutorial with this bad boy. All right, so my second palette that I purchased and I received, I think a couple days after I got my Renaissance palette is the Morphe 350 palette. Let me tell you, these colors are, oh, amazing, amazing. And the price, I think I paid like 22 bucks for this whole palette for 36 eyeshadows. Like I paid, I think close to like 50 bucks for this. 36 shadows, 20 bucks, like tw less than $25, less than $25. And cause I'm so lucky and everything happens to me. The first day I got it, I took it out of the package, I used it and I dropped it and hello, eyeshadow broke into a million tiny little pieces. So I kind of had to foil it with some alcohol and I hope it, it works, it's still pretty nice. It's just, it doesn't look as pretty, but the color is still like super, super nice and super pigmented. So yeah, that's my luck. I always have awesome luck with everything that I do. I'm telling you, these colors are so pigmented. Like I gently just dip my finger in that and you can even see the color on my finger. And then I just, I'm going to do a light swatch. Like, come on, come on. Like really, these colors are bomb. So I can definitely, like I said, I already use this and I love it. I will be doing a tutorial on this hopefully soon. Um, but even these like super pigmented colors, like, oh my God, can I tell you the color and the payoff is so gorgeous. Like I can't, like I really can't with my life. So I do want to get my hands on the new um, Lorac Pro palette three. I do have one and two. But I just got these, so I kind of got to be a little better with my eyeshadow palettes. <sighs> you know, I got to, a makeup is expensive, so I got to spread out my purchases, you know? And I did do a pretty big purchase the past month, so maybe not yet. Or maybe I'll get, maybe another month or so I probably purchased so, it. So, moving on, anyway. since we're still on the eyes. So I did purchase some mascaras, well repurchase some mascaras. So the ones that you guys always see me use, I love, 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 love mascaras. And I toss out my mascaras every three months. So reason why being, because they contain bacteria after using them in your eyes and blah, blah, blah. And you don't wanna get pink eye and be nasty. So definitely toss out your mascaras after three months. That's why I refuse to buy high-end mascaras. Why am I gonna spend like 60 bucks on a tube if I have to throw it out in three months? Yeah, so definitely, I would definitely go look drugstore brand, but hey, if you got the money and you don't mind spending it on luscious and expensive and beautiful um, mascaras, then go for it. No, no shame here. Okay, no hate here. I'm not hating, so go and do your thing. Whatever works for you, keep using it. All right, so. Of course, going on, and you guys all know that I only use waterproof on my eyes. I can't use anything else but my eyes because my little tiny stubborn lashes are pin straight and nothing else keeps them curled unless waterproof. So going on, I love the Colossal Volume Express Mascara and I use it in Glam Black and it's the waterproof one and you guys see me use this one. I think I have open tube here. You can see that I have no more writing on this one. So it is time to throw it out. And I love this because the brush is super big and fluffy and it gets in there so nice. See that brush? Hello brush, super big brush. Love this, so it gets in there so nicely. And then my second mascara, you guys see me use this all the time, is the Voluminous Carbon Black from L'Oreal. Ugh, I love this and it's in Carbon black, of course, and waterproof. Um, I saw, who did I see use this? And I really loved it. Mario doing Kim Kardashian's makeup. And I was like, you know what? If he's using it, it has to be good. And it's drugstore brand. And yeah, so you know what? I used it and I loved it. It's so dark. Ugh. So I love to use this when I'm using my own lashes, like my natural lashes. But for, I like to use the black is when I'm doing falsies because it's so, so dark. Or what I even do is do 
coats of this with this together like hello awesome this brush is a lot denser and a lot smaller than the other brush but it packs on the color like no other it's so nice and i love using this on my my lower lashes because the brush is a lot smaller i know some people tend to bend their um bend their ones like this who, who uses it like this uh, dad uh, mac daddy or something like that uses it like this and he says he uses it like this to get in there but i think it's just preference i haven't used it like that but i should try because if he says it works i believe him because he is bomb okay and going on on my last purchase for my mascaras you guys know how i love my gel mascara but i refuse to buy expensive gel mascara again if i get it for as a gift or for free i will use it but i personally will not purchase it because it's hell of expensive and i'm not gonna spend like i said on gel for my eyebrows no so i get the great lash mascara it's a maybelline lash and i get it in clear and it does the same freaking job like brand new it's nice and clear after a while the tube changes colors and it gets the gunky color and the brush is also super tiny and super nice and it gets in there you can even use this on your normal lashes but like I said I don't have curly beautiful eyelashes like most people in this world and I'm so envious and jealous and they can just pop this on and works perfect for them keeps your lashes curled super nice no that don't work for me mm -mm. okay so moving on from the eyes so i finally got my hands on these bad boys these are the jeffree star liquid lipsticks like do you not see my face do you not see my face can i tell you how amazing these are i don't know what the i was waiting for to buy these Thank God I finally got my hands on these because they are bomb. Anyway, so I got three colors. I got whatever was in stock. Um, my cousin finally got me on the train of these bad boys. Shout out to my cousin Carla. Um, plus, I love Jeffree Star. I love, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. He's fucking amazing. Love him. The quality of these are so, so nice. Like, can I not tell you? You look at this and you know he put his heart and soul on these. Like, oh, I just love them. Like, I just love looking at them. They're so pretty. So, even the packaging is so nice. You can, and they're made very well. Like, it's sturdy. Like, you know, these are not going to break. They're like meant to like, I don't know, but they're awesome. So, one thing I do love about his lipsticks, I have to tell you, is his wand. His wand, genius genius so it's super small and super light but if you look at the wand it's like it has a little dent in there and that's genius because it's like super dummy proof so for people who have a hard time to kind of put on li liquid lipsticks my mom for example she the way she puts on lipstick she does little strokes little strokes like a normal person but with this what you have this kind of cradles your lip so what you're gonna do is you're gonna line the bottom part with your lip with this and just do like a swipe remote, like a swish. You'll see. So it grips your lip and it gives you like a nice clean swoosh. Like, hello, mom, you're gonna love this. It's super easy. So I'm definitely gonna get you one, mom. Starting off with the first color. It's called Unicorn Blood. It's this beautiful red, like deep dark red. It's so, so nice. Super, super nice. And it's right here on my hand. This is the color. Super nice, love it. This is just one swatch of it right there. Okay, the second color I got is the mannequin. mannequin and this is like a, a awesome nude it's right here on my hand so it's really hard to see it on my hand let me see if I can like there you go that is mannequin right there and then the last color I purchased and the last color is rose matter right here it's this beautiful like light pink not like Barbie pink they oh, 
the yeast smell phenomenal. They smell like root beer, like awesome. Well, those two do. Let me smell this one. This one doesn't really smell like anything. Unicorn blood. And I like that because I don't like when those lipsticks have an overpowering scent. Anyway, so these are my three purchases of this month. Stay tuned. I'll probably use it soon. So, I, wh where was I? I was at, oh, I was Old Navy and I ran out of makeup wipes. So I really don't use makeup wipes that often because you guys know I'm all about the Garnier Marcella cleansing water. I love this stuff. But sometimes it's a pain to use this. Like, don't get me wrong, I love it. I use it almost every day. But sometimes, like, I'm in the car and I just want something in my car to kind of wipe off my makeup when I'm done wearing makeup because I'm over it. So I just want to keep something in the car. Or sometimes I just want something in the house. I just want to just use a wipe. You know, I vary. Like, my mood changes every day. Anyway, I saw these on Old Navy at the checkout line. And it's the Bird's Beads Cucumber and Sage Facial Cleansing Towelettes. And it's 30 pre-moisturized towelettes. You can see 30. And it says it's 99.1% natural. So if I can use things that are natural on my skin, I would, I love natural. Natural the better for me. And let's see what it says. It's for normal to dry skin. So my skin has been a little dry lately. And it's specially crafted for normal to dry skin. Our soothing cucumber and sage towelettes removes makeup, cleanse, and tones in one easy step, leaving skin naturally clean without rinsing. So I'm gonna be using it now. And it comes in a little package like this. And of course you just open it up. And I love these that can reclose because I hate the ones that are you just peel because they get um they don't peel back, I guess, or go back together. This clips, and I like that noise, look. I'm about that, <laughs> I love that. Oh. oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, one tablet. And I'm gonna be using it now to clean all this because these are a paint, you know what? I'm gonna add eyeliner. Let's see if it really removes makeup. I'm gonna add eyeliner. Wait. And I'm gonna add mascara. And we're gonna see if it works. Mascara. Mascara is like the worst. I hate. It's like the worst to get off. Okay. Got my lipstick. Got my eyeliner. Got my mascara. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit. And we'll do the test. And I'll let you know. I'm actually gonna show you guys right now. Oh, it doesn't leave you like sticky like the other ones. So I use the Neutrogena ones, but I hate that like it has like a like a lefto like it has like a I get a film with it afterwards, like a greasy film, and I I just I don't know. This feels really nice, really really nice. Here we go. So eyeliner time. Remember, remember this eyeliner is waterproof. So I would say the liquid lipsticks, it doesn't remove it fully, but I kind of like that. Just I know that the lipsticks actually work. So overall, it removed everything so nice. And it doesn't feel gross. And it smells awesome. So a plus for me. Definitely, definitely love it. Definitely recommend you guys getting it if you guys can find it. I'm going to check my CVS and see if they have... I know there's a pomegranate one, so I really want to try that one. We're still on... I forgot to mention one other lip product. So, 
If you guys know me personally, and you guys know that I'm all about my Carmex cherry flavor. My, my cousin is jealous because she hasn't tried it and she tells me to uh, stop using this and I'm addicted to it. Shout out to all my haters. Purchase your own because you know this shit smells fucking amazing. I love only the cherry one. The original one, the cherry, heavenly. It smells so good. Every time I put it on, my coworker, she goes, oh my God, that smells so good. I go, girl, you know what's my Carmex. Guys, try this out. So, you know I'm all about my Carmex. And my man knows that I'm obsessed with this. He knows. Shout out to Jonathan. Love you. This is only two that I can find right now. I have seven, I would say, total right now. I have one in my car, one in his car. I have one at work. I have two in my purse. I have one in my makeup table. I think I have one in the kitchen somewhere. But yeah, he bought a whole bunch. Every time he sees these now, he just sucks up on these. Because these are these were really hard to find at one point for me. So yeah, now I got them everywhere. So definitely try this out. It doesn't taste good. Just because it smells amazing, it doesn't taste good. No, so don't eat it. No, no. But when you put it on, people are gonna be like, oh my God. I'm telling you, they're like, what's that smell? And you're gonna be like, it's me. It's my lips. So try it out guys, definitely love it. Definitely helps actually. I'm actually gonna put some on right now. You know, be sending my cousin the snaps like this. So she knows that I'm putting it on. Oh, and I love it. It has like a little ball tip. So, so yeah. The things oh, that I repurchased thing. recently, besides my mascaras that I really love, are my concealer. I'm running out of my concealer. And you guys know that I'm obsessed with the Naked Concealers. So Naked Skin Concealers, I love. This is the packaging. And the color that I get is uh, medium light. I'll show you guys. Do you guys know what concealer I'm using? If you guys watch my videos. Love it. It's like ugh, one of the best concealers like I've ever, ever used. Love it. Super matte. Definitely love this. And definitely going to be in my collection for a long, long time. Do love it. And the other one that I... And the other one that I purchased again is my Bare Mineral Stroke of Light. And this is an eye brightener. So I don't use this as much in my videos. I do sometimes. So this was my favorite at first. And then I got introduced to this. This got kicked out. But I still love this. So I love this when I'm doing like light makeup. Because I only like the other one. I only like this is when I'm doing like a full face or doing glam. You know, I still use this if I'm going to do something light or day to day. But this is more of a my day to day one. And I alternate with another one. I'll show you guys the other one that I bought. And the reason why I love this one so much. Because it has like a little bit of like, I guess little hints of glitter. Or little specks. I would say specks of glitter. So, this is it. This is my other one. This one's empty too, almost. And this has like super, super, like little, little, little tiny specks of glitter, like very, very tiny. But I love the formula of this. It's so, so nice. So I definitely recommend you guys trying these both out. My mom loves this one. I ref told her to get this one. My aunt loves, she uses it too. I haven't asked her if she loves it, but. And it's super pigmented, don't get me wrong. This one's really, really good as well. Like I said, this one I like to use when it's more glam. This one I like to use more day to day or I just alternate. Sometimes I don't want to use this one. I'm tired of this one. I get sick of this one. Then I go back to this one. But these two definitely top two favorites. Okay. So the other thing and that I repurchased is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. So I love SPF because SPF is super important for anybody. SPF is so great for you and also you need it. It also prevents from anti-aging by putting on sunblock 
you don't age as fast. By putting on sunblock, you prevent skin damage. By putting on sunblock, you prevent skin cancers of forming. So definitely, I definitely recommend you guys, especially for the summer, use something that has SPF in it. And not 10, not 15, 50 or higher. 50 or higher, guys. 50 or higher. Now, you guys know, or I tell people, I don't like to use SPF if I'm go doing stuff at night. The reason why, because when you take pictures, especially in a dark setting with a flash, you get a little bit of a white cast. But with this, no, no white cast. I use this nighttime, you get no white cast at all. So I definitely recommend my the It Cosmetic one. So the reason why I purchased another one is because the one that I have now is my summer color. Like when I get fully tan, when I go to the beach, summer color. So it's huge. This is going to last you for a long time. I bought this last summer. So here it is. This is the color that I have now and it's in the color rich. This is my super dark color. So this is my summer color. And one thing I love about these, this has a pump, a pump. So fucking amazing. Like. Thank God for people who think smart. And you guys, oh my God. Pumps are the best thing ever. Like if you don't have a pump on your foundation, why, why? You can even buy little pumps and attach it to foundation. I know some you can't, but I just love pumps. It's just so more convenient. So the color that I just purchased is tan. So right now I am tan. I'm not rich cause I'm not in that summer color. And you can see the difference of the colors like I don't know if you can, but I can. Because this is rich and this is tan. Um, but I can. Come on. So th I'm this color right now. This is summer color. New. New. There's my pump. So nice. And the tube is really, really big. And you guys don't even need a lot. Like a little bit goes a long way. This is so pigmented. This is a CC cream. So it's sunblock with. So it's color correct. I'll tell you exactly what it says. Color correcting full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum plus SPF 50 plus UVA and UVB border spectrum physical sunscreen chemical filter free par parbon free. So and it says the active ingredient is titanium dioxide nine zero nine point zero percent sunscreen and zinc oxide which is some lock you guys all know about that six point three percent so they're pretty high and the directions say apply 15 minutes before sun exposure and reapply every two hours so yeah like i said i love this in the summertime love this so you guys will be seeing me use this in my next video definitely be using this in my next video another thing that I repurchased is my bare minerals warmth I love this so I love bare mineral products I've been using them since I was a kid because they're super like light and super like gentle on your skin and they're made of minerals so I love to use um, my bare minerals warmth I love it warmth this is like my fifth warmth buying, I guess, or probably even more since I was like, what, 15? Um, I love it. It's like my go-to bronzer, kind of. So there's been a few lately that I really love, but this is like a, a classic. Like, I just love this. It's so, so nice. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's a loose pigment, like a loose powder. So it's a little messy, but otherwise, love it so if you guys want to try it give it a try you guys seen me use it in my videos in the past if not go to my videos and check it out or I'll link it on the link below where I use this if you guys want me to I love it the more you blend it out the more oh god if you the color is so nice just give it a try I did purchase a new bronzer this is the Mac bronzing powder and I got in refined golden this is the color I purchased. So, I know there's a thing. But I love this. It's so pretty. It's like, so, so nice. It has so, it has like, 
little little like fine fine like glitter in there but it's like oh, the color is so nice now this is not as dark I would say or not as the colors are different warmth in this is definitely different this is very close to my Urban Decay Beach Bronzer one. The only thing the Beach Bronzer one is, no, not even close. This one is, a, I would say, this is darker than this one, but this is matte. And this has very, very light shimmer in it. So, but they're both pretty similar. I just realized it right now. But, yeah, anyway. I used it this weekend. Loved it loved it loved it so i'm gonna keep trying it out and if i feel like it's too similar to my my urban decay one then i'll definitely just return it you know my last powder compact thing that i purchased is this mac mineralized skin finished in medium deep so my cousin carla if you guys know carla you guys know she's all about makeup just like me but she's always glammed out more than i am She's always ready to go, I'm telling you. She has like everything, everything. I love her. So, and she's the one that got me kind of hooked on this. So, she, this is her compact that she keeps in her purse at all times. At all times. Um, just to touch up. And I can see why. This is so beautiful. You can use this for your full face if you want. Or just to touch up, you know, your oiliness or whatever. Super, super nice. Super pigmented. Yeah, smells like nothing. Um, you can't go wrong with mineralized skin finish. Like these are just so nice. So they're just made nice, and the pop compact is super nice. I love the fact it's like magnetic. So like as you push it, it kind of like kind of closes up itself. So yeah, so this I definitely be keeping this in my makeup bag to touch up. I, la I have three more things. Three more things? Three more things to talk, talk about. about. So these three products I've never tried before. So this is the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It's called the Transforming Moisturizer Super Cream. So this is the box. Let me try to get you guys focused. So here is a box. It's pretty big and I think it retails for like 40 bucks, less than $40 at Ulta. It smells really good yeah and it's for all skin types so I'm definitely gonna try this out and see how I like it and I'll keep you guys updated my second thing that I haven't used yet is the new Ardell studio effect layered lashes and these are it they look like the demi there are the demi USBs but they have a they said they're different these are different these are studio effect and they're customized by makeup artists so if you look at the little picture up here it shows you it looks like they use like individuals with a full demi wispy lash or a half of that so the difference is they add more to the i guess the end so it's a lot darker and a lot fuller so these are the new ones that i have and these are the original demi wispies I don't know if you guys can see off the bat. Let me see if I have one that's not in a two-pack. They definitely put a lot more lashes. Actually, the whole thing is a lot darker. So I'm definitely going to try these out soon. And I'll let you guys know how I like them. And the last thing that I purchased. And this video can be over. So you guys can move on with your life. I bought the uh, New York Tease Shimmer from Victoria's Secret. This thing is Humongo. It is a shimmer mist gel, I would say, kind of. Doesn't have instructions or anything. Sexy little things, it says. So, I get tan in the summertime, but I feel like sometimes my skin looks a little dull. Or when I go on vacation, I'm actually going to Cancun in August. So I kind of wanted something to kind of look nice on my skin if I go out or anything like that. And I love glitter. And I have glitter mist. I have glitter rolls. I have glitter lotions. But when you're hot in the summertime and putting on glitter lotion or whatever, you're sweating. I hate putting on 
lotion like right before I go out because then I'll get all hot and sticky. And this is a gel. So I tried this out at Victoria's Secret today. And it has a little nice spray thing. And let me spray it. And there it goes. It's like a big glob of that. But then um, you just kind of like spread it out and it dries. Oh, and oh, it smells really good. I don't know if you guys can see that. The glitter is hard to see. And I love the fact that it's so overpowered with glitter, which I really like. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells just like the perfume. So, yeah, it's called bot it's Body Mist. So, definitely will be trying this out this summer. And I definitely will let you guys know. This bottle looks humongo. So, I definitely think it's going to last me for a couple of months. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to give this a try and see how I like it. So there you guys have it. That is my haul video for this month. I hope you guys liked everything that I purchased. Please let me know if you guys use any of these stuff. And let me know if I should return anything that I haven't used before. Or if you guys have reactions to anything. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. Please um, like this video. Please subscribe. Please spread the word. Please tell your friends. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for our next video coming up soon. And I hope you guys have a great, I guess, beginning of summer since it was our first day of summer a couple of days ago. So yeah guys, bye. <laughs>